The mobile phone, I'm sure everybody you know has it, including yourself. Well, its rapid development has allowed many developing nations to skip investment in expensive permanent landlines along with the internet. Mobile phones are changing the way people communicate and socialize around the world. For the story, let's call up BOA's Paul Ndiho. Mobile phones are more than just an accessory for many people around the world. They've become a necessity, a primary mode of communication, a way of keeping in close touch with other people. These new mobile phones and smartphones provide an incredible array of functions. Using a black belly is not just a hip thing, but it's also very practical, and it changes the way people from all walks of life relate to each other. TV to Africa producer Robin Himes uses her BlackBerry to catch up with her daughters. I email my friends, my girlfriends, my daughters, all on the BlackBerry, and we consider ourselves the BlackBerry buddies. Unlike many traditional cell phones, smartphones allow individual users to install, configure, and run applications of their choosing. New technology allows mobile phone users to do countless things access the internet, send text messages, get directions, take pictures, watch movies, simply have fun. Consumer market reports suggest that here in the United States, the dynamics are changing. For the various mobile phone providers, competition among them is high and government deregulation of the mobile phone industry has increased the number of telephone service providers that compete for the same customers. Howard University student Joyce Boyer says she's always looking for great deals. I changed my cell phone provider like I changed my clothes. <laughs> mobile phone providers traditionally targeted urban areas, but that is changing. A research group context in Baltimore, Maryland, estimates that by the end of this year, more than 3.5 billion people will be cell phone users. That's almost half of the world's population. Talking, talking, talking. Okay, I gotta go. I'm Paul Ndiho, VOA News. <laughs>